Andrea, how would you assess the way the team's progressing at the moment and just the perhaps the confidence that's been built over the last couple of weeks with a, with a good few wins? No, we, we, we're in a positive space, I think, of course, two great wins for us. Um, we've, we've been a bit up and down through the season. So what we've been looking for is really continuity and, and then just consistently performing at, at a high level. So, of course, we, we feel of confidence. Of course, we're in a good space. Uh, but Saturday is a big test for us. So really to keep that momentum going into into end of year tour, it's a big, it's a big one for us. It's two wins that have been um, spoken of as being built on, on defence. How do you feel the, feel the attack is coming along? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, our defensive efforts has been absolutely amazing, especially in the second half in both test matches. Um, it's a little bit of a concern. You don't want to be doing that every test match. So we've been looking at ways to make sure that doesn't happen again. But it gives us also great confidence knowing that our defence is solid. Um, Attacking-wise, uh, we're creating opportunities. We're maybe not always converting, but we're creating those opportunities. And that's something we want to keep building on and just trying to convert a little bit more. Andrew, when you speak about converting a little more, what, what do you think is needs to happen for you guys to be able to capitalize on those because you guys created quite plenty on Saturday. Oh, it, it's a lot of small things, nothing specific you can put your, put your thumb on. It's just being a little bit more accurate, a little bit more patient and making a little bit more better decisions. Andre, does it, does it add more pressure after each of your life's day? Um, to oh, it's, it's, people will have expectations now. Uh, it was a big one, of course. But uh, we've been just focusing on the process for us. Um, we know now what we're capable of, which is good. But like I said in the beginning, you've got to be consistent. You've got to be able to perform at that level week in, week out. And, and that's our challenge now. Andre, there's been a lot of talk, I suppose, especially in New Zealand circles, about backlash and them coming to right or wrong. That's obviously mm -hmm. one quote as such. But you guys think on the other side of that, um, you've obviously got to get your, your performance consistent. There, but how do you guys look at those type of comments and know that they're going to come? I mean, that's pretty obvious. If you go back in history, every time they've lost a test match, they come back firing at 120% the next week and, and the next time they play that same team. So we know they're going to come out, they, we know they're going to be more accurate, we know they're going to be more physical. Um, but we at home, and it's, it's up to us to, to match that and even go one step further. Jesse, um, speaking about the defensive efforts, uh, yourself at the number, at the number 13 spots, do you feel like your defensive awareness and that always been one of your one of your strengths or, or do you feel that this year it's just becoming a lot of you, you you've got a lot better in that? Yeah, I think definitely um the system that we've um had at the Bulls um, this year is something we started with um, over there and something that um, Jock is also doing is very similar so it's something that um, a, a lot of us really enjoy and everyone's obviously bought into so um, I think it's it's not really a thing of us here as a responsibility but I think it's becomes more of an enjoyment um, taking that responsibility um, and, and organizing that defense so I think the guys are really bought into it and the guys are really putting their bodies on the line I think it's all good and well having great systems and great things but in the end of the day you have to go out there and, um, and, and make the hits and, and you, it, the system just gets you in the position but then it comes to the, down to the individual actually making, making the tackles and stuff and I think we've got guys that are really willing to um, put their bodies on the line for the country and I think that's what's been great in the last two weeks or the last two games. Would you agree that number 13 is defensively the most difficult position and why is that? Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely difficult. I think sometimes you feel all alone out there. Um, um, obviously, teams, we all know how, how good teams attack these days, especially at test match level. Um, they, they, it's, uh, at 13, there's, it's a position that you get isolated a lot, so you've got to make big decisions. And um, obviously, Rossi has um, empowered um, players like myself and um, other centres to, to make big and bold decisions in test matches, um, and which has been nice as well from, from a personal point of view to go out there and just... Um, be given the, the, the freedom to go out there and make big decisions. So um, you're not always going to get it right, but then we've seen the, the, the effort that the guys have shown to, to scramble and to clean that up. So I think that's, that's been a really big positive um, from a defensive side. And um, I think you really, um, as a country and as a, as a rugby um, crazy country, we've seen how the guys are really putting their bodies on the line and working hard for each other. So that's all we can ask for. And as far as that start of the year, the first few days, the box was beaten quite a lot in the outside and the wide channels since that also been sorted out <coughs> what has changed, what's happened since that you sorted out that problem? Yeah, obviously there's a there's a few technical things that we've worked on. Obviously I don't want to give too many things away um, before a big test match like this. But yeah, it's a few technical things we've worked on, um, some individual things and then obviously just um, as a as a unit just getting things right and um, um, sticking to the system that, that makes us strong.
How much of the fact that uh, you know the last two tests, for example, you guys uh, you were leading before you had to you know, play defensively? How much of that is compared to England, where you guys have to play catch up? How much of that has helped in terms of freeing you guys playing the kind of rugby that you prefer playing, and also just like putting that pressure off you guys? Yeah, I think um, like you say, um, those England tests where we all where we came back from from big deficits, I think it just shows the, the character and the, the fighting spirit that we've got in this team. Um, and it's something that we pride ourselves on. And um, it's also, I think it's nice. Um, there's, there's test matches, it's, it's always, it's up and down. Every test match is different. Sometimes you go to that dark place where you've got to come back from 14 points down. And um, I think um, we know we're capable of doing that. And I think that's, that's um, nice to know. So yeah, it's, uh, I think that's a big positive for us um, going into any test match. Jason, what do you think was of the difference um, between Wellington and years gone past in terms of the last 20 minutes where the All Blacks could be pushing another gear and you know the box had a reputation of maybe fading a bit but in Wellington you guys refused to just go to sleep and uh, go down in that match so what was the difference is it a mental shift or um, I think definitely a mental shift um, I think uh, um, a conditioning wise I think um, Allard coming in obviously has made a big difference there um, I think he's really uh, put a big emphasis on us um, um, training above the game and um, being fit. So the guys are definitely a lot fitter. Guys are being able to go for 80 minutes. Um, I think the guys that are coming off um, off the bench are really making a huge difference. Um, we like to call them finishers. They're really coming in and finishing off um, on a good note. And then obviously um, we've got uh, great decision makers in our, in our 9, 10 and 15 um, who are taking good control, um, seeing good space. And then the rest of us are just working, um, working hard and um, um, making sure that we take that space and execute. And I think like Andre said, um, they the, the guys making the de decisions and we just the guys that need to execute better. So um, yeah, I think just more of that. And do you think this test match against the All Blacks and having played Australia last week, so two, two tests in a row, um, this will be the ultimate test of, of the new uh, defensive strategy about getting off the line and, and, and being as physical? Yeah, I think like uh, like Andrew said just now, it's going to be a huge test match. Um, uh, we're going to have to, like you said, get up and 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 get up for this test match and um, be better. They're going to be a lot more clinical. Um, I mean, they are the number one team in the world, so they're going to come here wanting to win, and we've just got to be um, better than that, I suppose. Jesse, you played, I think it's ten test matches as a combination with Damien. Uh, how much does that help with them coming back and, and just having that understanding with someone like him? Yeah, Damon's a world-class player. I think what he brings to the table is really special. Um, I think um, he's got a great skill set. Um, he's got great feet. He can take guys on, and then he's really, really strong on the defense. Um, I think what's great now is we've got a guy like Andre as well, who's um, uh, guys are really pushing um, each other hard at training. So, um, but yeah, Damon coming back in, um, played with him before. Um, he's really, really like we really comfortable on on attack and defense with each other, and then obviously with Andre on the inside. Um, we played together from, from 2015, so um, yeah, it's really nice to have him back and um, yeah, we've got a lot of confidence going into the weekend. Jesse, talking about guys coming back, a guy like Sandro Williams last year, so um, he offers something different in the midfield, especially with the offloads, how, how difficult is to, is to counter that? Yeah, I think like you say, um, that's one of his big skills, um, it's something we're obviously aware of, um, it's something that he brings to the table, but um, we've also got a guy like Damien who's also bringing something else to the table, so it's so obviously different styles and different players, um, but then again, yeah, we will be looking to focus on on what we need to do well and not too much on on, on what on what they do. Andre, I mean, obviously, this you've had to be used at like twelve at certain times. And when you look back at your game, um, I've been played either ten or twelve. When you look back, which I don't want to ask you which position you prefer, but like when you look back, which one do you look back and think, okay, I was more happy in my performance when I was at versus. Yeah, well, lately we've been just been tackling whenever I go to 12, so <laughs> I don't know if that means anything, but um, it's, uh, yeah, no, I, of course I'm, I'm a fly off first choice, definitely, but um, uh, I think it's good if, to have a, a team that can go to 12, you can never know what the situation will be, um, to have that cover, it, I really enjoy it, I enjoy playing 12, um, I haven't played there for a few years, and, and coach has been backing me later in the games to go there, it's been through injury or through whatever strategy he wants to do, but um, I enjoy it, it's, it's, it's fun for me to play a bit of 12, I like the physicality, but uh, it's nice, it's good. Andrea, you, you um, early in the rugby championship, you looked like there for moments or two, you went through a bit of a slump in terms of your kicking as well, um, maybe lost all the confidence there for a week or two, and I know quite a bit was made about it on social media and stuff, I'm sure you saw, but uh, just your thoughts on what, what happened there and how you got the bat? 
yeah, I think after the, the break, I mean, we were off about four or five weeks. I didn't play any rugby miss that last super rugby game and I, I think I just lost my rhythm a bit. Uh, worked hard at it, didn't come back straight away and then uh, like this last two weeks it's been a lot better. So small tweaks, I've been working hard at it. Um, you're going to have your off days, it happens to anybody, it happens to the best in the world. So just got to keep working hard at it. Uh, for now it's good, uh, hopefully I can just keep keep on going. Okay, did you, um, sorry Brendan, did you work with anyone, any kicking coach to you going to get that going? No, no kicking coach. Uh, I've had kicking coaches in the beginning of my career. I learned a lot from them. I really appreciated what they did for me. But as you go on, you, you know exactly what you're doing wrong when you're making mistakes. It's just about getting getting back into that routine and, and just working hard. And is this your combination with, with Pop? Obviously, you guys have played a lot together. Um, if that, maybe if something happens with Pop, are you confident that, that uh, Galak Kimber was able to have that? If you haven't played much, that your combination will go well? Yeah, absolutely, 100%. have got a lot of faith in, in, in Emi. He's a, he's a young talent. Um, we're getting him through the system nice and slowly, giving him confidence, a little bit there, a little bit there. Um, play with him with the balls, of course. So we know each other very well. Uh, and that's our job to make him feel comfortable when he gets on. We've got a lot of senior, experienced guys around him, so you can just focus on his job. Uh, but an exciting player. Andre, one of the aspects of Wellington that um, was, especially New Zealand media, concentrated on over there, it's kicking. He does tend, when the pressure gets on, to make just on terms of that pressure there, is it something that you guys think you can capitalise on again put him under pressure? Yeah, I mean the best player in the world with 70 hour test matches doesn't feel too much pressure. <laughs> uh, he's a confident guy, um, he had a couple of off days in the past but uh, I'm sure he'll be, he'll be 100% this weekend so we can't leave anything up to, to him feeling the pressure. We've got to play as good as we can and make sure that even the kicks doesn't even affect, uh, affect us. They didn't go for a drop ball in Wellington. Loftus is, is nice for drop ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is nice. Um, I'm sure they've worked on that. If we get to that again, hopefully we don't get that close. But uh, if, we, if it has to happen, it's got to happen. I think for you personally, how have you been enjoying this year specifically after a few difficult years with injuries and having a nice extended run now so, um, and, and basically sealing the number 10 jersey in the box row? So you, how are you feeling at this point? No, it's great. It's great being fit again. It's great playing a lot of minutes. Um, I mean, after missing basically two years of rugby, uh, it was very frustrating. But uh, and you really, really miss it. And you miss these occasions, these big test matches. Because that's what we work hard for. So to be back here, it's very enjoyable. I'm loving every moment of it. And uh, just got to go out and execute for my team. Any Afrikaans? Any Afrikaans? No, I'm going to go to the young class. I'm going to go to the young class. I'm going to is that a geheime formula om jy sierans gespannen te drop of wat leid tot die woordwinning in jy sierans gespannen? Ja, wel, het is die beste spanning in die wereld. Jy gaan nie surprise nie, jy gaan nie vir hulle, jy gaan nie enig iets baie beter as hulle doen nie, as jy dan. Hulle kan alles baie goed doen. So, karakter, so groot ding, 80 minuutes speel, so groot ding. Jy moet die klein oomblik in die games, Die groot klein oomblik in die games moet jy elke keer probeer ween. Um, stapie vir stapie, jy weet het gaan 80 minuten gaan, so jy moet recht van vraag voor. Geheime formule, ek weet nie, as hy een was, wat my kooskan om vinnig krijg, dat is ek elke keer kan gebruik, maar uh, nee, daar sê geheime formule nie, is baie hard, baie harde werk, en uh, jy moet jy moet akkuraat wees, op die dag, en as jy nie kan stel. Die verwachtinge voor die Wellington wedstrijd, ek weet nie, Stan, het wel altyd, uh, as jy self gesê, dat jy wil gaan wen, maar die verwachtinge, les van die wereld, dat jy nie sal wie nie, Die verwachting is nou anders, nou wel worden verwacht dat jylle gaan weet, is die druk nou anders? Uh, ek verskil bykie daarmee, ek dink nie twee beste syde maak ons ewerskiel, nou die beste span die wereld, nou moet ons die oorblikse elke keer wen nie. Ons gaan definitief probeer, ons gaan ons alles gee, maar hulle bly die beste span die wereld. Ons bly een span wat groei en bou, ons leer mekaar nog ken, africhters, management, spelers. Uh, so ons is nie onder vals indruk dat ons nou allemaal gaan wen vanavond nie, maar ons gaan verseker probeer en ons het baie selfs terug vat uit die laatste twee dekke. Ja, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
is iets wat ons nog altijd oor gepraat het, is, is om op een volle of te speel, is ons droom. So, ons krijg saterdag die gewoontheid, so is lekker. Um, Hanno, die, die geest van die span, twee, twee goeie winners, um, vat het nie weer, hoe is die span, die samen zijn, alles daar die, waar die energie is van? Ja, dat is ongelooflik. Um, het was zelf vertrouw die angst gekryd en van die twee winnen. Um, Maar ook lekker om te zien hoe hard ons op mekaar is, jy weet, ons gaan nie nou standaarde drop nie, ons gaan eindelijk nou net nieuwe standaarde stel en ons gaan daarna streef, so die werkzie tek het eindelijk opgetel, maar daar is ooit, ons, 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 soos ek weer gesê het, ons is nie nou, ons is nie nou daar nie, ons is nog steeds bezig om te bouw, so, um, is vir ons lekker om, om, om bykie nie net opgehammer te word die hele tyd nie, nou kan ons net focus op die kleine goeie kies en, en, en net self vertrouw daar uitvat. Ok, thank you very much.